today we're going to talk to you about a special paper from Fabriano called the Studio Watercolor. Fabriano, the oldest paper company, the inventor of watercolor paper since 1264, 750 years old, and or 55 years old, 755 years old. But anyway, today I want to focus on Studio Watercolor. A few decades ago, when I identified the American market, I noticed there was too big of a discrepancy between the high-end, meaning mold-made, 100% rag, so a couple of brands out there, including Fabriano, Artistico, and then you had the cheap student, mediocre, to be nice word for that quality sometimes, uh, paper. And I thought there was a gap. So I've worked very hard to try to come up with that sweet spot, something that could be good enough for a serious artist, even a professional in some case, and you know, economically, economical enough for a students that needs to practice a lot. I always more have always recommended when you're beginning, when you're a beginner, you better using the best material you can. It's highly rewarding. It will encourage you, it will help you to have success and you will continue and you learn faster. When you're a super expert and a great professional, you can actually experiment with other stuff. So this is <coughs> one of my philosophy. But to go back to studio, we were still conscious about some people really cannot afford always to use the best paper. So we came up with that. So what did we do? One, we use Cotton, we use only 25% cotton, but still some cotton because they have long fibers. It helps the paper to be strong and to have the right absorption, number one. Same cotton we use in Artistico. Second, you know, the wood pulp is high alpha cellulose, which is lignin free and it's FSC, meaning it's environmentally correct. We don't use any bleach or optical brightener and it is acid free and pH neutral, acid free, and all this. So, and it's made in a Fordonier machine, or a machine made, if you call it. However, in an old, smaller, and slower machine. So it doesn't have the speed of a big Fordonier machine that gives you a very straight fiber uh, grain direction. So this one is kind of in between, a slow that. So that would allow us to have this studio watercolor paper, which we have in two ways. We have in cold press, you know, medium, which is a typical watercolor, but we have also in hot press. So we use similar felt as the Artistico. So the grain, the aspect of the paper is very similar to handmade or mold made, because again, since we make all those different quality, we uh, can offer the same, so it has a similar look. So we can show a little bit. We'll do some blue, you know, ultramarine, let's stay French. I know, it's Italian. Maybe I'll put some green. Um, so, you know, again, I'm not here to teach you how to paint, if you have to learn for yourself, but just to show you how, how well it takes because it's very tricky to use less expensive paper. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes I'm very surprised and shocked by company that call their paper watercolor paper when they have nothing to do. Even though you are less expensive than the top quality, the top tier, there's still some fundamental, <laughs> you know? The paper needs to be able to absorb a bit of water to stay, to don't, to da to don't buckle like crazy, but yet stay a bit in the surface so you can do wet and wet, you can go back and you know, you can mix you can go, you can do different things, and later you can even do here. This is, I just did that uh, five minutes ago, and you can go back, and you can decide to 
you know, to scrub, to lift. And this is, usually you can't do that with, uh, with inexpensive paper. Or if you try to do it, you have a lot, you, the paper is falling apart. You have little pieces of things hanging out. And here it's still, same. it's not as perfect as the artistic core, but tell me it's a very, very good paper. So uh, for that price. Uh, hot press, so hot press, it's, uh, well, I'll change color. I, I'm going to put some, uh, some red, the Ilios red, very special red from, from France. And um, so you see how smooth, so you don't have, so hot press is very, very delicate because talking about uh, forgiving, it's much harder. Hot press is the toughest color to use, but hot press of a bad paper, he, you, you know, you have a lot of little, little piece of paper, little particle moving out. It's very hard to test a hot press. The hot press is the most difficult paper to make. So I hope that uh, inspire you, answer some of your question. So Fabriano Watercolor Studio, 25% cotton is that sweet spot. You can try, experiment when you're ready, when you want, go to the Artistico, but this is good. This is good for you. And I hope the goal is to inspire you to go paint! <laughs>